Today I'm going to show you how to create rainbow designs like this one right here in Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing I recommend you do is change the background color of your Illustrator artboard to black. That will make our life easier because we're creating a design for a dark t-shirt. So you can do that by heading over to File, Document, Setup, then check this box over here and change the color to black. And then if you hit OK, and then you'll see the background color apply. Now, the first step to our design is actually creating the rainbow from scratch. You can do that in Illustrator and then customize it to your liking, which is really cool. And you can get really creative here. So to start off with that, I would like to draw a rectangle. So choose the rectangle tool from your toolbar, just draw one out and make sure to center it horizontally right here on your artboard, because now whilst having this selected, we can draw out some rulers to help us out. The rulers you can draw out from the side or from the top and if you don't see these uh, ruler bars then hit Control R that should unhide them so click on these draw a ruler and drop it right here on the center point of your rectangle and now we can delete this I'll draw it a different ruler from the top to about the middle of our artboard it doesn't have to be exact though in this case so kind of like this and that will give us a starting point to start drawing out our rainbow so the next thing you need to do is select the pen tool. You can also hit P on your keyboard to do that. Make sure you've got no fill color selected and just a stroke of white. By the way, my artboard dimensions right here, in case you're wondering, are 450 pixels by 540 pixels. And then using a one pixel stroke width right here is fine. You can still see it quite well. So we'll start off by just drawing a line over here. I hold down shift to make sure it comes out straight from the bottom. If you don't hold shift, you've got this sort of variation. So do that, let go, and then click on the middle. We kind of want to draw the first arch of this rainbow. And it doesn't have to be perfectly geometric. It can be a bit um, wonky looking and you want to essentially repeat that process until you've got about four or five or six different arches like this that are sort of moving down in size. I'm always holding down shift after I've clicked by the way with the pen tool to keep these sort of looking a bit tidier and there we go it just makes life a lot easier afterwards as well right so once you're done with that you will need to select all of your strokes i've just created and increase the stroke size a bit make them quite a lot bigger so these are nearly touching and then you will also see how you have to kind of rearrange them because these ones at the bottom have way too much space in between whilst the ones at the top don't you can also readjust some of these anchor point handles right here and essentially now it's just a matter of tidying up this design a bit because at the moment it's still a bit too crowded or it's a bit too close this takes a minute or two but once you're done you'll have a really nice base to work off of for any types of rainbow designs that you want to create. So there we go, that looks a lot tidier now. I actually went ahead and removed one of these arches because I feel like there was too many of them and they were getting too thin. So I think with this layout, it is a lot better. So what's next is we want to add some texture to these because at the moment they're just very plain. We will color them in in pink, but you know, nevertheless, there's usually a lot of decorative stuff in here like dots, hearts, zigzag lines. There's many different ways to approach this. So in order to do this, you want to highlight all of your shapes, then hit Control C on your keyboard to copy these and then Control F to paste them in front. So now we've got two sets of these white arches, but we want to change the color, the stroke color to black and then turn down the stroke kind of like this. There we go. And now we can use these lines to work with um, to decorate our rainbow a bit. So a few things you can do. First of all, the basic one is heading to the stroke panel. So I've got one of these selected right at the bottom. Heading to the stroke panel, you can enable dashed line and you can mess around with the width up here with the dash size. So if you increase that, as you can see, you get thicker dashes. You can change the gap around so that way you get more or less. Um, you can also enable round join and that way you can sort of create some dots that are floating around. Um, it does take a bit of messing around with these settings to get the right look. So there we go. That's some dots for you. And there they are getting more and more if you turn down the gap. So definitely some cool ways to mess around with this. Um, that looks quite cool. You could also technically make these white right and then you could remove the shape behind let me just select that there we go so you could do something like this as well where there's just dots and not um you know a, another shape behind just as an example um let's do this line next um, here I wanted to show you something with the effects panel. So um, we can actually create some cool effects on these rainbows by heading to distort and transform zigzag 
and as you can see that's already created an interesting effect but we want to change the ridges per segment and turn this up that will make it more rigid in a sense um, you can change the size if you want to turn this down make sure it doesn't sort of overlap the actual rainbow arch and then you can also change it to smooth if you wanted to so that way um, it's a more of a smoother line there's a lot of different settings to mess around with and this is definitely a fun one to give this a different feel one more thing i wanted to show you this is actually a really cool one is um, let's say you wanted to paste some heart shapes onto one of these and um, there's a quick way to do this um, let's say you've got a heart ready I'll, I'll show you a quick tip to creating a heart as well why not while we're here in case you don't have like a pre-made heart shape you can just use the rectangle tool with a fill color selected you can turn this by 45 degrees and then you can drag it over enter outline mode Control y you need to make it so the edges right here are touching the center the other rectangle and then we can drag another one down right here at the bottom so now as you can see we've got kind of a heart shape <laughs> and we can combine these with the pathfinder window right here so use the unite function and then we can actually turn this into a heart by just selecting the outer corners at the sides and at the top and then turning those in with the round corners option. So that is sort of a quick way to create a heart shape if you don't have one ready. You can also create one with the pen tool, but that often turns out quite wonky. Um, but there we go, we've got a little heart ready. Make this heart quite a bit smaller than the actual width of your rainbow arch. So let's do it about this much. Let's change the color to gray in this case. That's just going to make it easier to see in a bit. So pull this down, duplicate it over, to the other side of the artboard and then select both of these hearts and head up to object blend make there we go that already looks quite good we've got a repeated heart pattern but let's head back to object blend blend options and let's change these a little bit so by default we've got smooth color but we want specified steps if we change this number right here you can see the spacing gets a bit less so let's do about 11 and we can also change the orientation which makes no difference yet but it will do once we've got it applied to the arch so once you've got a blend that looks like this then you can with the shift key on your keyboard you can select both the stroke one of these black strokes that you've got and the blend select both of them at the same time then head up to object blend replace spine and there we go now we've got our blend perfectly pasted onto this arch and we can still change the settings the blend options to mess around with this so the orientation changes it from a straight upwards layout to this layout that actually follows a curve. We can also still change the steps to have more hearts on there. By the way, we've got the heart overlapping at the bottom, but that's fine, we can easily fix that afterwards. So let's hit okay. That is another great look right there. Obviously it looks a bit wonky in black and white and gray, but we'll change the colors in a bit. One last thing. For some of these arches, I would recommend using a leopard pattern because those do really, really well for these rainbow designs, especially for different awareness topics. So actually inserting a leopard pattern into these arches can work wonders too. So let's delete two of these black strokes and then we will actually um, use these arches for the leopard print. So here we go, that's the pattern. I will leave a link to it in the description. I got it from Creative Fabrica, but I've also got a video showing how to create these patterns in Illustrator from scratch if you want to make one yourself. And I just wanted to duplicate these. And so I've got a you know wider range of pattern to work with. So now we've got four of them sort of next to each other. And these are in PNG format, which will work. It's all right. You can technically vectorize them as well first, but you do not have to. Vectorizing also kind of makes it less seamless with, with patterns sometimes. So now that we've got this, these sets of patterns, I want to group them first of all, control G. So now we've got the pattern grouped and we need to outline these shapes right here for this to work. So before I outline a lot of these shapes, I typically like to duplicate them off the artboard just in case I need this version later on where it's still editable. So now that we've got a backup copy, we can head, we can select all of this, head to object, expand appearance, object, expand, and then hit OK. Now, First thing you notice is now we've got these sort of overlapping shapes right here with the dots and with the hats. So let's quickly trim these off, select everything, hit shift M, which will bring up the shape builder tool from your toolbar. Hold down alt to erase shapes like this, just quickly draw over them. And then we've got that bit sorted out. Now 
I want to draw this pattern over, make sure it covers our artboard or our rainbow, more like. That's the more important part. Align it to the center of the artboard like this and bring it to the very background. So control shift opening bracket takes your object to the very back of your designs, of your layers. And now um, we need to make a second copy of this because we've got two arches to paste it onto or into. Um, so while you have the pattern selected, hit control C and then control B as well. That way it gets pasted behind itself. And now we need to apply a clipping mask for these. So let's start off with the top arch, select that one, select the pattern as well while holding down shift. That way both are selected. Then head to object, clipping mask, make. And let's do the same for the bottom one right here. So click on that, shift click on the pattern in the background, hit object, clipping mask, make. And there we go. That has been completed successfully. So now we've got the two patterns implemented into our design as well, which is really nice. And we've got the colors there ready, which we can now use to easily color in the rest of the archer. So use the eyedropper tool. You can hit I on your keyboard to access that, or obviously go to your toolbar and then just click on the pink right here in your design. And while holding down Alt, you can paste it onto other parts of your design as well. So quickly color this in and uh, make it look nice. You can have a sort of contrasting pink. You can have some of these looking white as well on the pink that probably look good. So let's say we make this one white and the next one as well. You can sort of do it interchangeably. You've got a lot of different options here to mess around with colors and different objects that are decorating your rainbow. Right, so there we go, all the colors have been applied and all that's left now is adding some text to this design. And I'm going to add the phrase last day of radiation. And I want to put the word last over here and sort of have it cut out of the rainbow, which can look quite nice. So let's start off with the bottom part of the sentence though, because that is more easily done. So we would have last right here and then day of, let's make that text color white. And let's change the font to one of my favorite groovy fonts, which is abstract groovy. You can get this font totally for free for commercial use. You can find it on defonts.com, I'm pretty sure, or just Google for abstract groovy. The name is up here. And then let's put radiation underneath in a different font. Let's write radiation to begin with. And let's use apricots. I do like that combination of fonts. So we've got a nice little script font down here and a groovy one above. So there we've got radiation. Apricots is um, a font I've been using for ages. I can't remember if it's on Creative Fabrica or Creative Market, but I will try and remember to leave a link in the description in case you want to use the same font, but you don't have to do that. It's just an option. So now that we've got these two words sorted out, um, I don't want to make day of really, really big and draw out to the size, by the way, because I feel like that would be a bit overpowering. I do want the word radiation to be at least the same size. So it's in a similar focus, but now we can add last at the top right here. So let's copy this up and change it to last. That was a bit too big. I just wanted sort of on this side, right? I want it to cover the left side of this rainbow. And at the moment you cannot read it, but we're going to fix that by first of all, outlining this piece of text. So select your text and we've now got this new bar inside of Adobe Illustrator, by the way, which you can use to more quickly outline text with this little button right here in case you hadn't noticed that yet. And now we'll head over to uh, object path offset path. Let's change this to, I think, yeah, I think six pixels or five pixels could work well. And now we've got sort of a larger version of the word last right here. And I'm going to change the color of this from white to black. You need plain black right here, six zeros. And then what we want to do next is we want to copy this right here, black text uh, by hitting control C on our keyboard. Then you want to select the rainbow, which ideally needs to be grouped. That is something I forgot earlier, but if you select everything, hit control G, then this will be grouped. And now we can utilize the transparency panel over here to create a transparency mask. So hit make mask, untick the clip function, then click into the transparency mask with this over here, and then hit control F on your keyboard. That will paste this black text straight in front of itself into the mask. And that means it's going to be cut out of the rainbow. So if we click back into the actual other thumbnail right here, which is our design. So we're clicking out of the mask. Now, if we draw this over this rainbow, as you can see, it's had those shapes cut out of it, which means we can actually now 
delete the black bit of the text. You might need the direct selection tool for that. So we don't want this physical black outline anymore because it has now been erased from the actual rainbow. Now, if I draw both of these out, you'll see what I mean. There we go. So now we don't have a, a, an actual black stroke anymore, but it's just being cut out. So that's a neat little effect. And now you can read the word last a lot better than before. So we've got last day of radiation now. I just want to fill in the gaps a little bit on the edges right here, which we can just, you can do that with different types of shapes, but I think using a few hearts is probably applicable right here for this design. So let's just paste a few of these in here, rotate them, change the size about, maybe the color as well, quickly pick another color and then add another one right here on this side and there we go so that's filled in a bit of the gap that we had and i think that looks like a decent design you could obviously mess around with the colors of these as well but i think keeping them white is quite good for legibility that way the phrase stands up more against this pink rainbow design suitable for breast cancer awareness if you want to learn seven hidden workflow tips for illustrator that can help save you time and hassle make sure to check out this video next